And I think that uh, people uh, look to leaders to, to do some of the things that, that, that clearly need to be done, including setting a strategy and making sure there's a coherent plan in place to go after that. And again, this is a corporate leader, a not-for-profit, a university president, uh, people in the political realm. You know, they all have to be clear on this is where we're going and this is how we're going to get there. My favorite quotation is that I have spent a lifetime trying to disavow. Leo DeRocher famously said, baseball manager in the 1950s, that nice guys finish last. And I have spent a lifetime trying to prove that nice men and women can finish first. But the thing that I always say is that you, you need to be excellent if you're going to finish first. But excellence isn't defined only by people who take a harsh or difficult or painful path. You can be in uh, a collective setting where you've got common objectives and you work together every day and be really good and really stimulated and motivated. And I think that's the holy grail when it comes to leadership. Well, one of the things that Yale Law School showed me, which was so broadening, was that leadership could be uh, provided and delivered in so many different spheres. And Yale Law School was great about that then and now. Yale Law School showed me there were so many ways to make this journey. And, and when I came to Yale Law School, I thought it was a different place. It was already the best law school. It had been the best law school for so long and it's still the best law school today. The training and the classes were set up to help you think as opposed to necessarily memorizing different things. Um, but what Yale Law School really showed me was that uh, I could, when I left Yale Law School, exercise leadership in so many different ways. Uh, one of the most difficult times in my career, I was the president of Merrill Lynch during the credit crisis. And the company had significant challenges that we were trying to deal with. What you need to do in that situation is make sure that you understand the scale of what you're dealing with because the people who are looking to you for optimism don't want it to be just misguided optimism and things aren't going to work out. So you have to understand what you're dealing with. You have to have a plan. You have to have a core team to deal with the crisis environment that you can turn to for counsel and, and people that are there all the time telling you the truth about the situation. But then, you know, when you have all that, you have to retain the optimism, communicate and over-communicate, uh, and make sure you're telling people the truth about where we are, the challenges in front of us, and where we're hoping to go. How did I get here? You know, I was the co-president six or, you know, a, a, a year earlier, 12 or 18 months earlier. But I had been at the firm 17 years. I was the youngest president in Merrill Lynch's history. I'm thinking to myself, how am I the person now with this great weight, 65,000 employees, this company that's been around for 94 years, and I'm going to go have a negotiation that uh, determines whether we successfully get it sold or maybe the company's bankrupt in 24 hours? And the answer is, you are. And if you're a Yale Law School student with the skill set of the people here, Things like that are going to happen. That might be on the more dramatic side, but things are going to happen and you just need to be ready and, and recognize that you're there. But the, the lesson is it, it's going to happen. So get ready for it and embrace it when it comes because leadership is what Yale Law students are lined up to do. So you always have to be evolving, but if you don't, ultimately have a view as to how you want to lead. And if you don't remain faithful to that, people are going to try to knock you off that. There's so many people have different views on what you should be doing, uh, and, and they're coming at you in not such nice ways sometimes. And, and you, know, you can hear, particularly earlier in your career, you leave Yale Law School and you're starting down a path, you might hear you haven't done this very long, you're very young, you're this or you're that. And a lot of that can be true. And you want to be open-minded and there's mentoring and there's learning you can get from people. But at the same time, you should take that and process it and say, hey, I, this is my view of things. I'm here for a reason. I have a lot of talent and I'm on my way to leading and, and stick with that. So you're going to lead. 
Yale Law students, you are going to lead. Get ready for it. And leadership means that there are going to be people who don't agree with you, who are going to try to push you off your path, who are going to resist where you want to go. And you need to develop your sense of, here's where I'm going to draw the lines. Again, always getting better and being open to different views. But here's where I'm going to draw the line. I am in charge or I have a, a vote here and I'm going to exercise it. Yale Law School convinced me undeniably of the value of the legal training and the time at Yale Law School. I encourage people all the time to go to law school over other options. And if you're fortunate to be able to go to Yale Law School, even better. Uh, the knowledge of the law in the career that I've had has been an enormous positive for me in situation after situation. In my career, I've dealt with issues that involve legal, uh, have major legal components. And there are lawyers all over my world working with us, working against us. And the ability to understand the language and to understand what's being said and to make your own judgment. There have been many times in my career, thanks to Yale Law School and my training here, where I've said, stop. I understand the legal issue and I understand the counter. This is what we're going to do because you've given me the risk return and I have the ability to hear all of this and, and make a determination. I think without Yale Law School and without the training, the confidence is, is not there. It's been an enormously positive thing in my career. And as I said, I, I advocate the legal training generally for people who are even thinking about whatever, you know, business, politics, it's, it's just very helpful uh, across the landscape. If you can do it at Yale Law School, to me there's nothing, there's no better way to spend your time as a young person uh, for three years.